हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल इन विच वी हैव टू यूज द मैथड ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शंस राइट सो हियर वी हैव द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर टू माइनस एक्स ओवर एक्स क्यू प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स राइट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल so let us start so let us first call this integral as i right now viewers here we see that uh, our uh, integrand is a, a rational function right so let us denote the uh, integrand by uh, f of x which is 2 minus x over x cube plus 3x square plus 2x right and here the Uh, numerator and the denominator uh, both are polynomial functions right so this is a rational function and moreover we see that the degree of uh, denominator is 3 and the degree of uh, numerator is 1 right okay so now what we will do uh, we'll uh, first concentrate on the denominator and the denominator can be uh, written as uh, from here uh, we can take x common so we have x square plus 3x plus 2 right and now we see that uh, this is the product of uh, uh, two factors uh, one is x and other is the quadratic polynomial right so now we'll uh, uh, factorize this uh, x square plus 3x plus 2 by the method of uh, splitting a uh, middle term right so we can uh, break 3x as uh, 2x plus x and uh, now we can uh, write uh, this expression as x x plus 2 and here we can write 1 and x plus 2 so uh, overall it is x plus 1 and x plus 2 right so now we are able to factorize this uh, quadratic polynomial into two uh, linear factors right so now uh, our integrand uh, it takes the form 2 minus x over x and we have x plus 1 and x plus 2 right okay so now we see that uh, the denominator it comprises of uh, uh, 3 a uh, linear factors right so now we can uh, uh, decompose this uh, rational function into a uh, partial fractions right so let us write this as a over x then b over uh, x plus 1 and c over x plus 2 right because we know from the theory of uh, partial fractions that if we have uh, linear factors in the denominator uh, then we have the constants like this that is a over uh, the first linear factor then b over second linear factor then c over uh, the third uh, linear factor and so on and so forth right okay so now we have uh, this function that is 2 minus x over uh, x x plus 1 x plus 2 2 is equal to now we can take the lcm of x x plus 1 and x plus 2 so we have x x plus 1 and x plus 2 and in the uh, numerator we can have a times x plus 1 x plus 2 then we have uh, b times here x plus 1 and x plus 1 get cancelled so we are left with x and x plus 2 and then uh, we have c and x plus 2 x plus 2 get cancelled and we have x times x plus 1 right now if we compare uh, both the sides uh, we uh, see that we have 2 minus x is equal to a times x plus 1 x plus 2 and here we have b x x plus 2 and then we have c times x 
x plus 1 right so this is an important uh, expression uh, to find out the constants a b and c right so now in order to find out uh, the constants a b c uh, we have uh, several methods and here uh, we will uh, uh, take some particular values of x uh, to find out the values of a b and c right okay so let us uh, first take uh, x is equal to uh, minus 1 right so when we take x is equal to minus 1 uh, the right hand side becomes 2 minus uh, minus 1 here we are taking x is equal to minus 1 now here uh, this factor becomes 0 then we have b times uh, x x is minus 1 and here we have minus 1 plus uh, 2 right and this factor becomes 0 so now if we solve this uh, this is 1 and we have 2 plus 1 3 here we have 2 minus 1 1 so we have b times minus 1 so b is equal to uh, minus 3 right okay so we have obtained the value of uh, b now uh, to get the value of uh, other constants let us take x is equal to uh, 0 right so these are the simple values of x uh, from which we can find out the constants so when x is 0 uh, this expression uh, becomes 2 minus 0 and here we have a times 0 plus 1 is 1 then 0 plus 2 is 2 and this factor becomes 0 and uh, this term also becomes 0 because uh, x is 0 right so now we have 2 is equal to uh, 2a and 2 and 2 get cancelled so we have a is equal to 1 right okay so now we have obtained the values of a and uh, b right okay now we have to find the value of c and in order to find out the value of c uh, we can take some uh, uh, simple value of x and let us take x is equal to 1 right so we'll take the uh, simplest value of x as 1 uh, or in other words we can say that uh, to find out the value of c we can take other values of x also right so here x is equal to 1 is the simple value so uh, this expression becomes 2 minus 1 and here we take x is equal to 1 so we have a times uh, uh, 1 plus 1 2 then we have 1 plus 2 3 then we have b times uh, here we have 1 then 1 plus 2 is 3 and then we have c and here we have 1 then 1 plus 1 2 right so this is 2 minus 1 is 1 and we have 6a here we have 3b and here we have uh, 2c right so now this is uh, an equation in a b c and we already know the value of a and b so let us put these values over here so we have 6 times 1 then we have 3 times minus 3 and plus 2c right so this is 6 minus 9 and this is 2c and we have 1 is equal to minus 3 and plus 2c and if we take minus 3 to this side we have 2c is equal to 1 plus 3 that is 4 and c is 4 over 2 and c is equal to 2 right okay so now uh, by this uh, method uh, we have obtained uh, the values of the constants a b and c right so now viewers uh, once we have obtained the values of a b c uh, we can substitute them uh, these values here and now our integral uh, this integral becomes uh, 3 to 4 and for this uh, we have f of x 
dx and we can write it as 3 to 4 and for f of x we have this expression so we have a over x plus b over x plus 1 and c over x plus 2 right and now we can substitute uh, the values of a b c so we have 3 to 4 a is 1 so we have 1 over x and the value of uh, b is minus 3 and this is x plus 1 and then we have c that is 2 over x plus 2 right okay so now we have three integrals here and uh, we'll uh, make use of the result uh, which says that uh, the integral of 1 over x is uh, log of x and the integral of uh, x plus some constant say alpha is equal to log of x plus alpha right so here we'll apply these two results so now we have log of x and then we have minus 3 uh, log of x plus 1 and then we have 2 times uh, log of x plus 2 right and the limits of uh, integration are from 3 to 4 right okay so here either you can use the uh, notation uh, log or we can also take uh, the natural log as ln right and in that case uh, uh, we'll take the base as e right so here uh, the base of the logarithm is e that is the exponential uh, number right so now uh, here we have this expression and now we'll uh, make use of some properties of uh, uh, logarithms so uh, the properties are uh, c uh, here we can write it as log x then this term can also be written as log of x plus 1 raised to minus 3 we'll take this negative 3 to the power of x plus 1 and here also we can take log x plus 2 raised to 2 and the limits of integration are from 3 to 4 right so we have used the results here uh, that is a log uh, b is equal to log of b raised to a right so here and here we have used this property right now we'll uh, use uh, another property of logarithms that is log of say a plus log of b plus log of c is equal to log of a multiplied b multiplied c right so here uh, this is a this is b and this is c right so we have log of x times x plus 1 raised to minus 3 times x plus 2 uh, whole square right and the limits of integration are from uh, 3 to 4 right and now we can uh, also write this expression as log of x times x plus 2 square over x plus 1 cube right and the limits are from uh, 3 to 4 right uh, so viewers uh, from uh, this discussion uh, we arrive at the conclusion uh, that the indefinite integral the indefinite integral that is 2 minus x over x cube plus uh, 3x square plus 2x uh, dx is uh, equal to uh, log of uh, x times x plus 2 uh, square over x plus 1 cube right so this is the uh, indefinite integral of uh, this function right and we can also take uh, c prime as the constant of uh, integration right so here uh, we have to uh, uh, take into account the uh, limits also so let us uh, proceed further 
so now uh, let us substitute the limits here and we'll take the difference so i is uh, equal to uh, log of uh, c uh, here uh, we'll take first x is equal to 4 so we have 4 times 4 plus 2 is 6 so we have 6 square and this is 4 plus 1 5 so we have 5 cube right then minus uh, then we'll take x is equal to 3 so we have a log of uh, 3 then we have 3 plus 2 uh, uh, 5 so we have 5 square and uh, here we have 3 plus 1 uh, 4 cube right so this is uh, uh, the expression uh, which we have got uh, after putting the uh, limits right so now uh, we can simplify it and we have uh, uh, 4 times uh, this is 36 and this is 125 and here we have log of uh, 3 times 25 5 square is 25 4 cube is 64 and uh, uh, here we'll get uh, uh, 36 times 4 is 144 over 125 and uh, uh, we have here a log of 75 25 3 is 75 and we have 64 right and again we'll make use of the property of log uh, that is log a minus log b is equal to log of a over b right so we have log of 144 over 125 and divided by 75 over 64 right so this is the expression right now we can uh, further write it as 144 over 125 times 64 uh, we'll take this 64 to the uh, numerator here and we have here 75 right now we can cancel uh, these two terms so 325 za and this is 3 times uh, 48 right so now we have log of 48 times 64 uh, divided by 125 times 20 right okay so now uh, if we uh, multiply uh, these two terms and these two terms then we are left with uh, log of uh, uh, 3072 over uh, 3125 right and we can take uh, the answer as uh, uh, this term that is log of 3072 divided by 3125 but here uh, we'll uh, simplify it uh, uh, a little bit right so now let us take uh, uh, 48 right 48 can be written as 16 times 3 and 16 can be written as 4 square and uh, this is 3 right and uh, 64 can be uh, written as uh, 4 uh, cube right and here we have uh, uh, 125 times uh, 25 so we can write 125 as 5 cube and 25 as 5 square so the bases are same so we have 5 raised to 5 right so now we'll uh, utilize these uh, expressions uh, over here. So now uh, we can write uh, this expression as uh, C. Uh, we can write I as uh, log of uh, 48 can be written as 4 square times 3 and 64 can be written as 4 cube and uh, here uh, this term is equal to 5 raised to 5 right okay so now we have log uh, this is 4 square this is 4 cube so this is 4 raised to 5 2 plus 3 5 and uh, this is 5 raised to 5 
and uh, uh, then we have uh, three over here right and now uh, again we can use the property of log here so we can write log of 4 over 5 uh, raised to 5 times 3 and now we can uh, uh, split this term as a sum of two terms so we have log of 4 over 5 raised to 5 plus log 3 right and uh, taking this 5 uh, in front of log so we have 5 times log of uh, 4 over 5 plus log 3 right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we can uh, simplify uh, this uh, numerical term and uh, the final answer or the simplified one is uh, uh, this one so the value of this integral is 5 log 4 over 5 uh, plus log 3 so this is how uh, we solve this problem by making use of uh, uh, the method of partial fractions